An absolutely perfect fall afternoon for football, Coach, and we are under bright blue Colorado skies at Empower Field at Mile High in Denver. Just a short time ago, sounds loud enough to reverberate across the Rockies. They're ready for football in Denver as the Broncos get set to do battle with Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. Now a first-time 1,000-yard rusher from a season ago. It's Derrick Henry. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. We Mariota gives to Henry, and he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. It's a gain of four, and it's third down. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It's a first down following a gain of three. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Derrick Henry looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The all-pro Von Miller there on the tackle. It's rare that a man his size can't at least push forward for a yard, but they stopped him there for nothing. You're talking about Tiny? You're talking about the little guy back tiny. there? That monster. Yeah, you're exactly right. And it takes a group effort to get a guy like that down and not let him find some space. The first guy in... He's got to take one for the team, right? Because he's just waiting there and holding on for everyone else to help him out. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical, downhill running. They keep it with Henry on first down. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner, but where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. I saw Von Miller in college at Texas A&M, and all I kept hearing about was his speed off the edge to the quarterback. But what impressed me, his balance and his ability to take on blocks and be a force in the run game, as we just saw there. On third down, Mariota. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. On is Kern, the punter, to send this one away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Flacco going to bring up the Broncos first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. To pass, Flacco. And that's complete to the tight end, Hireman. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 
First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for them on the outside as well. That's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the end routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Flacco off the play fake to Lindsey. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Cortland Sutton was the man he was looking for, but it'll be second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. You better bring it. <laughs> Bootleg, Flacco. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. The season vet out of Penn State, Cameron Wake, in to drop him. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Third and long for Joe Flacco. He'll find Lindsey here. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker so much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute isn't it guard the first down sticks don't let them get there and they rallied and made the tackle and that is no good and this will remain a scoreless game. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. And they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drive. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is, keeps your defense off the field, gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least... Uh -oh. You've taken a good look at what you've done on offense, noted where the weaknesses are, and you know when you want to come back to them. Like when you're organized with your points. Well Point done. A, B, and C. On second down, here's Henry. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Running jet sweep here, Humphreys. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a chunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a gain that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. Mariota on the delay to Henry, and he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Mariota now to throw on first down. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Throwing is Mariota. He gets it to Humphreys. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. On 
on third down, Henry. And he is going to lose yardage here. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. The kick by Parkey is good, and the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Parkey now following the made field goal to kick this one off. This will be fielded at the 8. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Flacco going to bring up the Broncos first and 10 at their own 27. Passing play. Flacco. Wide open receiver complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pick up there, a 22. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. Let's make these babies cry all the way back. Now the young man who was a pro bowler as an undrafted rookie, it's Phillip Lindsay. And this Tennessee defense for the second straight play gets him behind the line. They're not messing around. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Following the interception here, Mariota. And Walker has it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now. Titans in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Now it's a bootleg with Mariota, and this one complete to Smith. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. On second down now. It's Henry, and running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Yeah, that'll 
will be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Not ideal there. That delay of game backs him up five yards, so now they need seven yards on third down. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Well, we're back where we started. It'll be first and ten after the five-yard penalty. The delay of game, a costly one, as they're backed up five for first and goal. Running jet sweep here, Humphreys. And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! A 10-yard touchdown run! And the Titans are able to extend their lead. The defense is doing their best, but they're struggling right now. They'll look for some help from their own offense to keep them in the game. Cody Parkey is on now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Flacco going to bring up the Broncos first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Deshaun Hamilton, the intended receiver, and it's second down. Pretty fortunate there, the interception that ended the last drive, and then, boom, the first pass here almost picked on this drive. Yeah, I think you could definitely call him the question is decision-making here in the first half. Certainly not the best of decisions there. Lucky that one wasn't picked. Flacco to throw again on second down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. I can't believe they even let you play. From the gun, Flacco. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. Second-year punter Colby Wadman out there now for the Broncos. Adam Humphreys deep for the Titans. He'll send this one into the mile-high air, and it's a good one. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And it'll be Titan football. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. 
It's Kareem Jackson making the play defensively. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Mariota on third and two. He'll get this one complete to Davis. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. A first down carry for Henry, and he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The last run got six, now second and four. Draw play, this is Henry. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. That'll be a gain of 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Call it a three-yard gain, and it'll be second down. second down run with Lewis they get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense we know not every run is going to be a big hitter but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three off play action to Henry here's Mariota this one caught by Davis, and he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. He came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles, rolling the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. Might have to think about some misdirection or something to try and get. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Touchdown, baby. Let's go. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Now Parkey for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0.
Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Flacco going to bring up the Broncos first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The run on first down gets them a couple up to the 27. Rashawn Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Flacco. It's caught by Sanders. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Hey, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Hey, hey. Flacco to throw here on third down. And that is incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. The Broncos send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. They go play action here on first down. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Throwing again on second down. Mariota, his throw incomplete. One of his main targets, Delaney Walker, the intended receiver. And it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, Mariota. Going underneath for Lewis. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 39. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. find Davis that's complete and out of bounds all the way down at the three another big gainer that time this one goes for 19 yards two big plays in succession not sure this D knows what hit him but now they got to get ready it's first and goal Mariota again and that throw intercepted. It's Chris Harris, the Pro Bowl corner. And they'll have the football, but deep in their own territory as he's brought down at the five. 
They get the pick. Now what can Flacco do on first down? And his throw is going to be incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On second down, a run with Lindsey. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. From his own end zone, Flacco. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told them, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Now a pass dumped off to his running back, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First and ten, here's Mariota. Flushed out right. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced a ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. He hit his first one, this from 44 yards out now. And Parkey's kick is good. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half.
Parkey now following the made field goal to kick this one off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. So we reach halftime here with the visiting Titans taking the lead into intermission. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Flacco going to bring up the Broncos first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Unable to corral him. He fights through. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. Well, we talked about Philip Lindsay so much last year, but it bears repeating. Undrafted in 2018, the Broncos would sign him in May, and that was a good decision. He would have a 1,000-yard season, nine touchdowns en route to a Pro Bowl appearance. So from undrafted to playing in the Pro Bowl in 10 months, that's pretty clean living for Philip Lindsay. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately, because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Flacco on the give to Lindsey. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Another example of just a dominant performance by this defense. Yeah, you hear all the time about teams that try to steal signals from the other side and try and learn their signs and their tendencies. It's almost like they got the answers to the exam the night before and were well prepared for this final. To pass, Flacco. And he finds Hamilton. That's complete. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Flacco looks to throw. And that's incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball of their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. They go back to the ground now with Lindsey. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Third down, Flacco needs a decent chunk of yardage. Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. The kick by McManus is good. And that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you'll see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro.
After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns here's second and 10 now from the 29 <laughs> Mariota going to give to Lewis only a yard of the pickup there so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine pretty good little two-play sequence there you force the incompletion then a very short pickup yeah now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down they like to play those nickel or sub packages don't they Watch Twit. Watch Twit. On third down, Mariota. And that will be incomplete. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post, that's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bash, <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> from the 22 Flacco the Sanders has got it complete and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line the catch and run good for 18 and a first down the sixth season in Denver now for Emmanuel Sanders after those four years in Pittsburgh. And you may recall Sanders tore his Achilles December 5th last year in practice. But before the injury, he was on his way to another 1,000-yard season. Would have been his fourth in his first five years in a Bronco uniform. And now at 32 years of age as he tries to return to full speed. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Here's Flacco off the play fake to Lindsey. Pass incomplete. Complete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Flacco from the gun. He'll find Lindsey here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 18 big yards on that one and a Denver first. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. And that's complete to the tight end, Hireman. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. A 24-yard 
touchdown. And the Broncos get a bit closer. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. They go for just one here as it's up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing is Mariota. They'll roll him out right. And avoids the contact by sliding. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. It's caught. Humphreys. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. First down, Titans. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. I'm going back to you. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. On second down, it's Lewis. And shutting him off, now open field. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And he's taken down, but not before he gets to the Broncos' 13. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? <laughs> Throwing on second and eight. Mariota sets up the screen to Lewis. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage.
Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Flacco going to bring up the Broncos first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Operating out of the gun, Flacco, and that's incomplete. Complete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Three down, three down. Flacco got a man open. It's Sutton, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I know you felt that way. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Flacco. He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. A nice gain of 21 yards. to Lindsay on the draw. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. From just shy of midfield, Flacco. Pitch and catch complete to Hireman. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Flacco's throw there, complete. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first on, down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Throwing here on first down, Flacco. This one complete to the running back, Lindsey. a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards Flacco will take to the air again and that gonna be incomplete a lot of contact no call and it's third down well it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football they haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers heck they've been on the same grease board when you draw plays up they haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. A red zone first down for Flacco. And caught by Sanders. Touchdown, Broncos. Emmanuel Sanders there to make the grab. 
And the Broncos cut into that lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now here's a throw that's taken in by Tajay Sharp. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. That'll make it first and 15. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. After the penalty, it's Henry. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. The running game continues to be a big part of their success here early in the fourth quarter. And with those types of runs... That tells you they feel very confident in their running game. They feel very strong at this stage of the contest, and they want to keep doing exactly what we saw there, running the ball down their throat. A pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. to Lewis on the draw and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 a gain of 13 it's a first down what makes a draw play like that successful well we did see where he made the first wave miss and that was a big part of it but a lot of it is just being actors back there making the defense think it's going to be a pass so here's a first and 10 at the 38 now Lewis here on first down it's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. As we get late in this one, is altitude a factor for a visiting team in Denver? Is that something that's overplayed? No, it's real, and I know a lot of the visiting teams like to downplay it because they don't want to get into the heads of their players, but you can't avoid it. As soon as you get to the locker room, you get to the stadium, they always post it in there. Welcome to Denver. Altitude 5,280 feet. The air is rare. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. To throw is Mariota. And that throw intercepted. It's Chris Harris, the Pro Bowl corner. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Flacco going to bring up the Broncos first and 10 at their own 26. Passing play. Flacco. It's caught by Sanders. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 
Setting up to throw Flacco. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Now Flacco. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Once more, it's Flacco. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Lindsey. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that's going to bring up a third down. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. And again, it's Flacco to throw. Got a man. He finds Sanders. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 37. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. They look to throw on first and 10 with Flacco. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession. Both north of five for six now throwing the ball on this drive. On first and ten, it's Lindsey. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gate of three. They don't want it, fellas. They don't want it. Keep playing. On second and seven, Flacco. A pass for Sutton is intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. He's at the 50, 30, 20, 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Parkey adds the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be fielded at the eight. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Flacco. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Second and 10, Flacco once more. This is the tight end fan. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. 
Now he can run Quick anything lane. and catch the balls we just saw there. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Now it's Flacco and almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Hank's almost going to get into QB ones here when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That one should have been picked. Look, let's just be honest about it. That would be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive. Second drive, not much better. Flacco looks to throw. Pitch and catch complete to Hireman. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. On first down, Flacco. He'll find Lindsey here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. Here's Flacco. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. My man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They go pass again with Flacco. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. To pass, Flacco. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. They're going to try it. Here's Flacco. And able to find Deshaun Hamilton complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. First and ten, and Flacco looking to throw. That is incomplete. He was looking to get it to Philip Lindsay there. That'll bring up second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Let's go, Heavy. Heavy, what you got? What you got, Heavy? Now Flacco toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Philip Lindsay, the intended target, third down here. Brings up a third down and ten yards to go. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. From the gun, Flacco. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Ready? 
And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Flacco. Looking for the end zone. And this is going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. They'll run with Henry. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. They'll get this to Sharp on the jet sweep. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Not your conventional play call, but that's okay. You probe the defense a little bit with some of everything in your playbook. That way they have to account for everything as the game moves on. The Titans on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. Here it's third and three. Off play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Here's Brett Kern now, as he's on to punt for Tennessee. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros. First and 10 here for Flacco. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. One last guess for Flacco. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they could look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone, as we say so long from Denver.